What is up? I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about how to find a driving test and the driving examiner strikes because they are linked. First thing, yes, the examiners are going on strike a lot. And yes, that's making the driving test backlog slightly worse. If you're worried about it, the truth is there's not much you can do about it. It's not all the examiners that are striking, so even if your test is on a strike day, you don't know if your test will be cancelled. The most you can do is check your emails for a driving test cancellation notice or ring the test centre in the morning. The phone number will be on your booking confirmation email. Could you please? If your examiner is on strike, your test will be rebooked automatically to the nearest possible date in the future. Sometimes that's a few days, sometimes a few months. Okay, this sounds sucky and you're going to be fuming at driving examiners, wrecking the testing system even more because they want more pay. Don't we all want more pay? It's a bloody cost of living crisis. Okay, hold on. You're misdirecting the blame here. After lockdown, the DVSA ran a huge campaign to recruit more driving examiners to get through the backlog more quickly. No surprise, it wasn't very successful. Being a driving examiner is a rubbish job. The pay is bad, the hours aren't easy, and the work is hard. Okay, the work isn't hard. You basically just sit in a comfy chair and get driven about all day. It's not like dragging bricks around a building site for a living, but your job is to basically smash the hopes and dreams of the young people that come to see you who weren't able to tick all the requirements boxes. People's lives, livelihoods, hopes and dreams rest on this 30 minute test and you have to tell them they aren't good enough. You get tears, tantrums, people swear and shout at you, it's mentally draining and you might go home at the end of the day having not been able to pass a single candidate. Imagine how that feels. It's a hard job with rubbish pay. If the DVSA want to do something about the backlog, they could make it a hard job with good pay and more people would be interested. More examiners mean more test slots, means the backlog goes down. The examiner strikes means if they can secure a better deal, we get more examiners and the problems will start to get fixed for everyone. Drop a comment below if you support the examiners and if you don't, comment below and say why. So, Let's talk about how to find a driving test when there are no slots available at your center. A big problem with this is people have spotted a money-making opportunity and are buying up test slots and selling them on for up to 300 pounds. So there aren't any test slots on gov.uk, they're all on Facebook going for mad money. Should you buy one? No, here's how they work. They only have access to the same systems as you do. They're online all day buying up any test slot that they can find. If you failed your driving test and you want a quick retest, here's what to do. People change driving test dates and cancellations do become available. Also, the DVSA sometimes releases a few new slots where they move examiners around or pull in examiners from different departments like HGV testing. Be there when they do. It might take one, two, three hours for a cancellation to pop up, but all you've got to do is sit there on the booking website while you're doing something else and keep refreshing. You will find a slot and you won't have to pay 300 pounds for it. If you're not in a hurry for a driving test because you've just started learning, then this info is for you. There are currently six months worth of testing slots available at every test center. If there aren't any slots, it means that all the test slots have been bought. To keep it at six months ahead, the DVSA releases a whole week's worth of driving test slots into the system every Monday at 6 a.m. These tests will be six months away though, and also this is common knowledge. So unless you're fast, they'll be gone. Be there at 6.01 and bag a driving test slot first, before the bots. That's it for now, hope you found this video helpful. If you want us to bring you more advice like this, let us know in the comments. And if you did find the video helpful, click the like button so YouTube recommends it to other people so it can help them too. Also, while you're there, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and check out our other videos. Peace.